Hi guys, long time no see. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please be sure to click the subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you don't miss out every single time I post a new video. If you're already part of the fabulous family, what's popping, what's happening, what's good. So a couple of disclaimers, my nails look like a nightmare but i am going to get those done tomorrow i never should have waited this long but last weekend was super busy and i actually didn't have the time and that's normally when i would have gone to get my nails done so i look ghetto don't mind it girl. another thing long time no see guys like i haven't vlogged in so so long i just haven't been feeling great and like i said i made a promise to myself at some point this year um that i'm not going to make content unless i feel like it it's just that simple can't come and die for youtube um i'm not even like i don't consider myself a content creator on instagram anymore i just had to fulfill like the last few um i guess paid pieces of work that i had to do so yeah now it's just to post what i want when i want and when i can kind of thing same applies to youtube so that's why i've been mia and i'm so sorry if it was rude <laughs> that i'm only just posting these sponsored or paid videos or whatever so sorry but here we are um it's december can you guys believe it it's already been a year since last december i mean duh it's another december but you know what you get what i mean like i can't believe it's actually december today's december 3rd i don't know why i'm starting this vlog on a friday um i also will not be doing vlogmas i'm not gonna cap to you guys if it's vlogmas it'll be like a vlog a week do you know what i mean because i just don't have it in me to vlog every single day i don't do that much fun stuff to actually vlog every single day either so i can maybe try keyword try <laughs> do one video a week for vlogmas other than that y'all gonna have to take what you get but like i said today's december 3rd on tonight's agenda i'm actually running late not late but like i was supposed to be doing this like an hour and a bit ago but i ended up working late i wasn't feeling great i haven't been feeling well this week um so earlier today there was a point i actually just had to nap <laughs> and then obviously as such i had to catch up with my work later so i was working late now i think i want to build my christmas tree because i actually ordered a christmas tree can you guys believe it it's my first christmas in my own apartment can you believe it <laughs> but basically the story with the christmas tree is um i actually wasn't gonna get a christmas tree um and this is because the aunt i normally spend christmas with um obviously as in since i've lived in this country she was meant to be going to Botswana um for christmas or for december as you guys probably know by now a bunch of countries in southern africa were put onto the red list by the uk so she's not going anymore um so i wasn't gonna get a tree because i didn't feel like being sad on christmas that like i have this large reminder of christmas and I'm alone. I mean, granted, I was probably going to end up being with T or Tracy, my friend. But still, like, <laughs> what? I was going to be sobbing. So I was like, you know what? As much as it would have been really, like, cool to celebrate my first Christmas in my own place, I just wasn't going to do that. But then now that she's not going, she's actually going to come to mine for Christmas. And I'm actually still going to host my first Christmas in my first place. I'm really excited. Um, it's probably just going to be like four of us like she's coming um, my friend tracy might come not too sure t will probably come by after but even if it's just me and her i think it would be really cute um to open our presents by the tree i'm obviously gonna make dinner i'm gonna try and decorate as much as i can even the food i'm still gonna set it all up and make it look really nice and Christmassy, even if it's just for the two of us <laughs> so that's me um the tree came today I don't know what decorations are what yet because I ordered some lights, a bunch of baubles. There's one pack that has baubles and the star for the tree. I think I want to go for like a gold and black theme for the tree and maybe I don't think I don't know about white or silver just yet, but I really did want it to be not minimal, but yeah, a little minimalistic vibes, not too much. Um, I hate tinsel, so that's not me. I don't like to wrap my tree in ribbon, or I don't like trees that are obviously wrapped in ribbon. Like they look nice, but they're not me. And then there's this like home page I follow on Instagram um, that's run by this couple because they bought their house this year. It's Tolu and Vanessa. And when they posted the tree that they have, I'm going to put the picture up here 
I was like, this is beautiful. Gotta have that. So yeah, I had been looking on Pinterest for some inspo, but then when I saw them post their chair, I was like, so sorry. I actually have to copy that because that's beautiful. Um, so yeah, I think the, th the colors will match the things going on in my place anyway. So that's going to be me. Because I bought like two separate bauble packs, I don't know which one came. I'm hoping the one that actually has more came. Then the other one's probably going to arrive tomorrow and then I'll just fill it up. Um, I think the lights came today as well. Those need a USB cable. So I think that's going to be cute. That's basically what I'm trying to do tonight. But like I said, I need to move quickly because I'm spending the weekend at teas. And by the time tea gets here, I need to be like relatively done so that i'm just maybe decorating and i've done the setup and fluffing of the tree at the very least because boy so for the tree that i got um obviously you guys know with like fake trees the legs are just kind of at the bottom and so i don't have one of those baskets that cover the legs of the tree or whatever or the stand so what i want to do is i want to cover the front with presents so that you can't see the stand so i've just kind of gotten these old um shoe boxes that i'm not really using obviously and i'm going to wrap it with this wrapping paper i also have some other wrapping paper that i bought and little christmas tags and stuff so i obviously can't finish all of them because i'm still going to need it for my gifts but i want to wrap some of these to just cover the front i think i'm also going to use these amazon boxes as well these two because it will be good to be able to just kind of put place them in a in a way that hides the the stand i suppose that plant i'm going to move and put here so that that corner is going to be the one for the tree it's quite bare it's plain it's cool so yeah that's me i also have another big box in my room um that i got for one of these unboxings and because because of the size i do want to wrap that up as well probably before i do all the shoe boxes so that i have more wrapping paper then yeah i just put them in front of the tree so that it really fills up the space and you just can't see the stand period so that's pretty much it for the night i'm probably gonna put some oven pizza in because guys i'm lazy i'm not cooking and it's so funny because i saw this oven pizza when i was doing my food shop and i haven't had oven pizza in time but there's something that was like this looks really really nice so i'm gonna do that <laughs> so that's me so guys um wait a minute let me put this volume down oh by the way guys i have a podcast now <laughs> my friend lee and i have a podcast together um as you can see over there i was actually listening to the latest episode so it's called the reality check podcast do check us out we basically talk about all things like tv reality tv at the moment we've been discussing real housewives of potomac we spoke about Porsche's family matters and secure selling sunset um when it finally drops we're going to start with selling tampa so yeah you know if that's a little bit of you get into it i'll leave all the information in the description box below but i started on the tree and it's so long like i'm actually sitting here rethinking my decisions because am i really going to finish it today it's so long putting the thing on is not an issue it's the fluffing what am i oh <laughs> it's the fluffing out that actually takes time and i kept reading on the comments that yeah the fluffing out is what takes the most time it takes maybe like an hour or so um so boy i'm in for it but i'm tired i'm also hungry so i was like let me take a little break to fuel up because a girl's tired you know here's my little i think it's a cajun chicken cajun cajun <laughs> chicken pizza it's got mozzarella cheddar red peppers and red onions so i'm ready to get into it <laughs> So Mayday Mayday. Actually, I'm not, I'm always coming here with loud TV. I'm watching my girls Jay's Vlogmas video, day three. But anyway, I've put it all together and I'm actually stressed because do you see how massive this tree is? I'm stressed out. <laughs> because baby. So this is the tree. To be fair, I feel like I got too excited <laughs> and I bought a seven foot tree. So I'm gonna need to get a chair anyway so I can stand and fluff up the top properly. Now I need to start fluffing the living daylights out of this tree because as you can see, it looks really gappy, really bare. So let's get to fluffing. Merry Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. <laughs> have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Finished tree. I feel like the bottom I fluffed out a lot more than the top, but there's also less. Um, I think they call them picks at the top, so I'm a bit concerned about how that's gonna look. I'm probably gonna have to put more baubles at the top to kind of make up for the space. 
but it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised, but we move not to decorate. So I'm finally done um, doing the tree. It's actually so late now, it's midnight. It took so long to decorate, to put the stuff up, put the lights up. I can't tell if I like the color, like it's mad green. Um, like that green that looks really artificial, but whatever. Then also, um, it's, I was scared that it would be gappy, but it's not as gappy as I thought it would be, but it's still gappy-ish. Um, so even with the decorations, I don't, I'm going to show you guys in a second, but I don't know if I want to add more baubles because I still have loads, like over 50 baubles or something. Um, super full cheese aren't really what I was going to go for, but now I'm like, I want to fill it up a little more. So, no. So yeah, I'll show you guys now. So I've just put on the ring light so you guys can see a lot better. Let me actually turn it off because I want you guys to see what it really looks like in real time. So... This is how it looks. Um, as you can see, you can kind of see the stand legs over there, as I was saying. So I'm going to fill up the prismic, Christmas, Christmas presents um, beneath that part of the tree. I'm really happy with the colors I chose. I feel like it's really me. I don't think I'm really keen on loads of red. I might reposition the lights. I'm not sure, but like I'm saying, um, especially as you near the top, it's really gappy. I don't know if I just need to fluff it out a lot more because I am really tired. Like I said, I started this around nine-ish ten-ish obviously i stopped to eat but i didn't eat for more than even like 20 minutes and still it took super long but it's okay <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna do the presents probably like on sunday and stuff because i'm tired girl i'm tired but here we are my first tree hey guys so it's saturday now i'm having a mare of a day i didn't even stick this wig down <laughs> like i need to go i need to go i'm running late um today's a saturday so t is going to football i i don't know if i anticipated that i'd have more time or if time just evaded me somehow but the thing is with me it's usually it, i'm either really early or i'm like <clears throat> pardon me running behind slightly i was supposed to have two things to go to today a 25th and another christmas dins I ended up feeling like I'm not going to have enough time to do both given like the distance between the two places. So I had to cancel on the 25th. But now I feel like I'm going to be late because <laughs> I have to go to Westfield um, in Stratford and I have to go by H&M. And then there's something else that I need. I need H&M and something else. Anyway, I need to go into Westfield basically. Then I need to go to Stratford, Stratford, like just near Stratford centers where my old nail tech um is based so i'm even worried now because it's not it's now maybe like 12 ish i'm worried about the timing because there might be a line if there's a line i don't know how long i'm gonna have to wait then i have to go into westfield westfield on the saturday is already a mare it's like nearing christmas season so people are doing their christmas shopping like i'm just stressed and i'm even here vlogging but anyway um i think i'm gonna go to stratford and if the nail tech is free just do my nails first and get that out the way then rush to Westfield. Hopefully, it's not full up <laughs> in H&M or the lines are moving at least. I haven't even eaten today. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get something on the way there. But now, I'm so late. I feel like maybe it's best I just eat when I'm on the way back. Because when I'm back now, I obviously need to rush to get ready and leave as well. Well, rush to get ready and then wait for tea and then leave. But I'm even concerned about the time it's going to take me to do my hair. Because I want to do a ponytail. And you guys know you have to set it and sleek it ciao this baby is just on top of that my face has been uh, bugging straight bugging i look crazy but anyway this is not the time to rant about that i'm gonna hit out <laughs> quick fit check by the way i don't even have the time to use but here i am i'm wearing this like jumpsuit from plt it's in this like ribbed um cotton type material i've um, got this cropped puffer jacket on it's from asos i believe the brand is called brave island or brave soul something like that this hat is from one of t's friends brands um sinister as you can see i'm wearing these platform chunky boots um from asos design as well and this is today's bag of choice my what is it ysl medium sunset and this is the croc embossed leather oh, oh. Have a 
I missed the train I was meant to take because I stopped at Costa. So I have to wait like another um, 10 minutes, maybe less actually. Okay. Um, oh, four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, I just have to wait four minutes now, um, which is fine. But when I saw the Costa, I figured I would get the Costa now so that I wouldn't have to walk around frantically on an empty stomach later which still probably means I'm still gonna head to the nail shop first, then do H&M last. I feel like I have another stop, but if I don't remember, I don't remember, there's nothing I can do. But yeah, this is warming me up. Like I said, this jacket's already making me sweat. That's how warm it is. So if you're looking for a good winter jacket, I'll put the brand some on the screen. Look for a jacket from there, because it's warm. Get that money back and spend it on the same thing. Shorty like the way that I ball out. ball out I be getting money time fall out You talking cash, dog, I go all out Shorty love the way that I flow out Happy Jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year I don't know if there's a snow But it's a good Have a Happy Jolly Christmas It's the best time Hi guys, I don't hope you can hear me I've just finished um with what's this with my nails um i don't know how i feel about them actually because he did the shape really really nice um and what i wanted see on camera now it doesn't look bad but this pink is really pink um and i wanted it more subtle and more like nude and natural but he says like um my nail took was saying the more i do my makeup and wash stuff with like detergent the pink lifts a little bit so i was like you know what fine but i really like the shape i wanted to try something different i feel like lately i've been moving like further and further away from really long nails like maybe for the last two to three months um and i thought maybe i would regret getting them short because sometimes when i get them shorter and not the super long nails i'm used to i regret it like immediately but not this time i'm obsessed with the shape so we move i'm actually really good for time he did my nails in 45 minutes 50 45 or 50 minutes and that's why i used to love coming here so much <laughs> So now um, I'm gonna rush to H&M, 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 whatever you guys say, and then I'll be done. Right now it's like 3.15ish, so it's not too bad. I'm actually really, really good for time, but I just need to be out of here by four, like four-ish, I need to be leaving Westfield because I ain't got time, baby. Separately, I was gonna go try Wendy's because I forgot Wendy's opened at um, Stratford, but the line, and I'm thinking if the line for Wendy's is still this long now, I'm pretty sure Popeye's inside Westfield is still really long as well. So that's a dud. That's clearly not gonna happen. Highly doubt I'll be able to try that today, but nonetheless, let's go. Hi guys, um, I really, really hope you can hear me, but I'm looking for something for um, T and H&M, and it's proving to be a lot difficult than I thought. Essentially, I need to find something black, but um, it needs to be something kind not smart like formal but like something you can dress up or down so that it actually doesn't get wasted but it needs to specifically be black and first of all t is a size medium so that's like the size 10 of men's clothing it's so hard to come by because it's so common things i'm finding you either wouldn't like um they're either not in the right size or they're kind of like good pieces that end up being ruined by like logo or like text or certain textures it's really doing my head in <laughs> but i need to find this and find this quick because like i said i'm on a time crunch this is the kind of thing i'm talking about like this was nice but what is this obviously this isn't for tea but i just mean in general like why is this ruined by this maybe it's me that's bad vibes but what i missed my second train again as in the train to go back home um, the next one is coming maybe for six minutes or something i actually had made it out like in time it was maybe like five to four even but now we're a little bit behind it's not too bad um, by the time the train comes it'll maybe be like six minutes past four or something or maybe like just a little bit after four then um by the time i'm home it'll probably be like 4 30 if that then i can get started with getting ready and obviously getting on the road so i'm actually good for time 
guessing there's a football team that was playing today but everyone feels the need to shout and it's stressing me out <sighs> hi guys so i'm back um home now i'm really tired like i was power walking i was whatever obviously i'm really happy that i'm great for time but i'm so tired um i even off my wig because it was really hurting me it's one of those old wigs that came with the um even though they're old because i feel like some wigs might still come with that but the clips and they were really starting to hurt me but anyway i'm home now um like i said i'm i have great a great amount of time so i'm really happy about that i'm gonna hop into the shower then immediately get started on my hair i want to do like a sleek or slicked down ponytail look um i think i'm gonna do it as an updo and then do the ponytail like as a bun or maybe like a yaki kind of bun rather than a ponytail that i normally do or just want something different yet again fingers crossed it works out because that's all i have i'm not even at my own yard so that will be pretty chaotic if it doesn't work yeah that's pretty much it i'm just so tired um today was a lot like i said i was moving in super speed mode to make sure that i kept time i also really don't like going to stratford or westfield like westfield stratford in general east in general a lot of the time stresses me out i just feel like the men in east tend to act like they don't have any home training like obviously not all of them but i'm talking about the people on road um or just people that are just senseless and mannerless um i'm really sick of like the policing of women's bodies like as i was walking today there was someone not someone there were people commenting on my body and i'm not going to sit here and pretend like this is the first time it happens to me but i just do personally feel like it happens a lot more when i'm in east um it's wild like i was walking and someone is even like oh see the nyash bro to one of his friends someone else was talking about oh look at the jiggle i'd clot that like excuse me <laughs> excuse me <laughs> excuse me yeah i feel like at that point i mean so sorry it's shaking so much it's because i don't have my actual stand i left that in the car but yeah it's it just kind of at that point i was ready to like okay let's so wrap this up you're done <laughs> you're done so yeah that really just annoyed me um already i was tired so anyway now that i'm home like i said let me not waste time i'm gonna shower get ready and then hopefully it will be here soon i don't think i'll continue to update you guys with everything maybe if i'm done in good enough time i'll show you guys the final look if not you will just see a montage of tonight and yeah but um until then um so we are at the venue but everyone else is late <laughs> like late it's probably nine something now and this was actually meant to start over two hours ago but it's fine girlies if you guys are watching this it's okay <laughs> already started drinking so i'm pretty sure when everyone gets here the fun will continue hey guys so um it's actually really late at night it's maybe like midnight and it's midnight of the next day so the last time you saw me we were at um the motive i said i was going to right and that was great that was fun um but now it's sunday well now it's monday basically because all of sunday i basically was at um t's house and because we basically got back in at maybe 4 30 like 4 30 ish 4 45 ish in the morning we were so tired we slept the whole day um and then we ended up eventually coming back to mine after like sleeping throughout. like we were in and out of sleep and chilling and watching tv um 
and then we eventually came back to mine um and then when i was well by the time we got back to mine i spoke to my friends and we were on facetime for time so <laughs> that being said um it's now like one even i'm catching up on vlogmas day i guess three four because i didn't really watch that much of day three i did watch lydia dinger's one which is funny because i'm watching lydia dinger now but um i didn't watch obviously vlogmas day four because that would have been yesterday and i was busy all day so i'm catching up on people's vlogmas day fours um weekly vlogs i think i may watch Aaliyah's faces vlog now um the thing is where i was sleeping so much during the day i'm not tired um and i know it's almost one in the morning but i can't force to sleep like if it's not there it's not there um and it's funny because T's sleeping like he's been asleep for time <laughs> so yeah i'm probably gonna finish off lydia dinger's vlog then i'm gonna see if there's anything else i want to watch on youtube um if there's nothing else to watch on youtube i'll just watch a half and half until eventually i get sleepy then i don't know if i'm really gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow because it's a monday it's a work day there's not much to do but um on monday i do want to add more baubles on the tree i want to fluff up the tree a lot more i was also reading um online that basically i made the tree branches face down instead of up i will show you guys in a sec but i was reading online that i should obviously have it facing up instead so that will make it appear fuller and that's just how apparently real trees well the real tree that's behind the inspiration for a christmas tree that's what the tree looks like the branches are facing up not down so i want to do that tomorrow but tomorrow well i keep saying tomorrow but it's basically today but you see my head yeah if i haven't slept it's still today but monday basically the problem is that today or tomorrow whatever is in monday i need to record the podcast with leo as in this week's episode the problem is i still need to catch up on shows in order to speak on it with leo so i'm gonna have to watch the shows today or tomorrow whatever monday during the day then um take my notes and then i will record the pod um with leo and then once that's done i can probably do the tree as an add more baubles um yesterday is part of the motive we went to part of secret santa i got more christmas lights so i just don't know if i want to swap out the lights but i really really like the lights i got because they have like a yellow kind of light rather than white and i think the lights are got more white so i don't know what i'm gonna do after i think tomorrow obviously priority is i mean i'm gonna have work throughout the day i'm gonna watch whatever show i need to watch um and then i need to record the podcast with leo then once i've done the podcast with leo i'll add more baubles to the tree but part of me is like maybe i should leave it until tuesday and then give that my all because i want to add more baubles then i need to wrap the boxes that i didn't end up wrapping on friday so i can put them beneath the tree because especially now that i'm going to make the tree branches face up it's gonna need a lot more filling beneath the tree but let me show you guys what i mean so i don't know if you guys can see what i'm talking about but the branches are facing basically downwards and i need to basically get them to be facing upwards so obviously once i've lifted everything up i can tell that i'm gonna have loads of space at the bottom so i'm just trying to see when i can find the time to fix this up like you can see i really like these lights like you can see that they have this my main light um in my living room is off so basically i have like a strip going this way and one going this way so this one is on but this one is off so you can see the actual hue or color of the lights and i really like this like yellowish tint i have going on but yeah i basically just need to make it look up and apparently it's supposed to fix the problem i have with all of these um especially up here the gaps in the tree so so sorry my camera is doing so much but yeah i need to try and find a way to fix these gaps because this is not on and then i'm hoping that by the time i add more baubles it will just look more full remember on friday i was saying i don't want to treat that super full but now i'm like hmm maybe not super full but like just a lot more full than this one currently is um so i have a whole lot of different baubles i still have the normal round ones i've got loads of the black and loads of the gold but i also have different shapes i have a star kind of one that i haven't added on this one um I, anyway basically i have loads <laughs> um that i could still use so yeah i'm 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 playing around with the day of doing it tomorrow 
But yeah, guys, that's me for today. I'm going to include this in the Sunday segment because, like I said, I feel like tomorrow is tomorrow until I slept and woken up. So even though it's like 1 a.m., for me, it still counts uh, Sunday. So <laughs> I'll check in with you guys on Monday. Obviously, like I said, I need to watch some TV so that um I can speak about, well, I can take my notes for Leo and I to talk about on our podcast tomorrow. And then depending on how I feel after the podcast, I'll decide whether I want to wrap the boxes that go under the tree um, or do the baubles or if I'm actually able to do everything all at once. I'll decide that tomorrow. But nonetheless, um, this is me for tonight and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. So first things first, my hair looks an absolute mess. <laughs> but um, yeah, I need to take that out. Basically, I haven't vlogged since the last time i was speaking to you guys late that night late last night ha i haven't vlogged today because i've been feeling really unwell i think there's a chance that miss mama's miss coco v got me but i'll be sure for i'll be sure once the pcr results come back um but i'm feeling really under the weather so as such i worked but only for a little bit and i was sleeping because I, I felt so tired and obviously ill um so even that being said i haven't watched any of my shows it's now like maybe seven and i've had to eat and watch my shows um obviously where i'm under the weather i'm not even going to re record the podcast today with leo we'll do that tomorrow so now that i'm not doing that today i'm still going to watch my shows and take my notes for the pod but what i'll do after or until i feel sleepy again is um wrap the boxes pardon me or as many of them as i can to put under the tree then i basically need to sorry that's my washing machine one second but yeah i need to fix the tree and obviously make the branches go up fluff it up i'm gonna do the presents first then if there's still time tonight then i'll add the rest of the baubles if not i'll do the bubble stuff tomorrow um but that's pretty much it for tonight i don't think i'll vlog anything else if i happen to finish any of the presents or the baubles or the tree whatever i'll show you guys that later but this is it for now <laughs> hey guys so um i didn't really film doing the tree or the gifts whatever you'll see in a second now i was too tired i was hot and i was also watching tv i watched insecure Pusha's family matters and now i'm watching the real housewives ultimate girls trip enjoying my evening um i had a lot of tea because it's really helping with my throat and stuff so i do feel really congested still so that's no fun no bueno um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i did you guys without the lights on um so as you can see i don't know if you can tell the difference i would like to think you can because to me personally i feel like it's made a huge difference so i've added a lot more baubles and i actually think i should have just done this initially like i don't know who i thought i was putting like five <laughs> baubles well not five but not as many as i had before um i do think from far it's really difficult to see the black um i guess it's because it's just a dark color but still i was really keen on the black and gold vibes i also added these like star ornaments um they were still part of the original like um pack of the gold baubles and stuff um but when i did my tree the first time i i mean i showed you guys the inspo i was going for so i really wanted to keep it simple but sure yeah, i think because the actual furnishing in my apartment is quite plain um it just needed to have a lot more so i'm happy with the additions now i've gone ahead and done these starter um i guess fake gifts so like i said that really big box is the box i got from one of my giftings for something and then the rest are literally just amazon and shoe boxes <laughs> so i tried to make it look nice i'm really considering getting a red ribbon for that one because it's really annoying me that i have the white and the black for these wrappers but i don't have the red for that so i'm probably just going to get that on amazon um let me switch on the lights and show you guys because i really wanted to see what it would look like without the lights because i think the lights can be quite distracting okay so this is it with the lights um the lights i've kind of used like this mode setting that kind of alternates so sometimes it flashes consistently and then it does this pattern as you guys can see so i'm quite happy with that i think it's quite festive i've quickly just switched off the lights in the apartment so you can see the vibes a lot more i need to somehow add one of the light strips at the top because i don't like the fact that at the top it just doesn't sparkle as much because clearly the way i put the lights it's everywhere but that top bit so i'm just gonna fix that up but for now 
I think the tree is officially done. But yeah, that's me for tonight. Um, I also wrapped my secret Santa gift for my friend. I was supposed to be going to Christmas dinner with my friends this coming Saturday, but isolation and dim things there. So I'm really sad I'm going to miss that. I need to figure out how I'm going to get that to the person who's getting that gift. But um, at least that's out the way. I've used up so much of my energy tonight. I literally just want to take a bath and snuggle up in bed. But um, I think that should be it for the night. I don't think there's anything else left for me to vlog or show you guys today. So until next time. Hi guys. So as you guys can first of all hear from my voice, I'm definitely like 10 times worse than yesterday. Um, results came back. Girl has COVID. Hate that for me. Um, I'm really ill today. Like today was bad. I literally slept until like I woke up around maybe nine. Then I couldn't like get out of bed. Like I, I literally, my body was weighing me down. I had to go back to bed. Um, so I went back to bed and then when I woke up, woke up, it was literally like one thirty. Like I was asleep for time. Um, I didn't sleep really well last night. I was having cold sweats. My chest is so obviously from all the coughing and stuff. So it's not cute. Um, pardon me um also the people that i was with last have all tested negative for covid so i'm really really happy because i was filled with so much guilt yesterday and i know it's not my fault i had tried testing last week and stuff and i wouldn't have known but i just hate the i hated the feeling of potentially having made other people sick and then they would have gone around other people as well so i'm just happy that they're all good um so yeah because of that i haven't done anything it's maybe like six now I took a long bath, I steamed, I, that's, that's it, <laughs> that's literally all I've done, um, I'm about to eat now, I literally have no energy, I'm just about to have some pizza, um, I have some tea there, I've been taking obviously all my medicine and stuff, so yeah, I have a little station there, I have pizza, I've got loo roll to blow my nose, because I don't actually have box tissues, but I've ordered those now, and then I've got some water, and a hot bev, I'm watching Hoddy Ween, Hoddy Ween, no, Hoddy, Hottie World, do you guys watch Megan Thee Stallion's channel? You know how she has Hottie Ween for Halloween and this one is just a Thanksgiving episode. So I'm just going to chill off a bit and then I think tonight, as much as I'm sick, Leo and I are still just going to record the podcast. It'll just have to be a really short episode. Um, But that's, that's literally it. I think I might even end this vlog here because, guys, I'm sick. There's nothing else for me to show you but me being sick and down bad. That even being said, I don't even know if there'll be another episode of Vlogmas to come because... I'm sick. Nyakula. Kalala. Durara. I'm sick. I'm sick. So, yeah, it might be it for here. I mean, I try to do Vlogmas on a weekly basis, but this has been a major inconvenience. So now that's gone out the window. But at least you guys have seen my tree the rest of the weekend I would have had. And yeah, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. It's the tree.